Tonight, we're learning new details about October's Bibb County jail escape. The sheriff announced today he fired a deputy for security breaches he says led to the jailbreak. Traveris Freeman started at the jail in September of 2020 and was fired after the sheriff's office completed their internal investigation. Anthony Montalto explains more about Freeman's firing and what staffing looked like that night. Over the last few weeks, I looked through about a month's worth of staffing reports from the Bibb County Jail. This one shows where people were staffed the night of the escape. Freeman was the only one over the West Wing, including cell blocks A and B. The night shift in question ran from 7 p.m. October 15th to 7 a.m. October 16th. And based on a warrant for Chavis Stokes, we know the escape happened toward the end of the shift at 3.27 a.m. We also know the four escaped from the B300 day room, part of Freeman's wing. And we know at least five people called out that night. Thursday, we learned the sheriff fired Freeman for unbecoming conduct, unsatisfactory performance, and failure to follow jail operations. Let's talk about that last one. The sheriff's office says jailers should check in on inmates in person at least every hour instead of using security cameras. And they say jailers should always use a flashlight and ensure each inmate they see is breathing. But a source close to the jail told 13 WMAZ an officer heard the sounds of what may have been chiseling in that cell block and were told to log what they heard instead of checking it out because of low staffing. Freeman was the only one in the area, according to the staffing log, but he wasn't the only one alone that night. The East Wing, cell block C and D, also had a single deputy on shift, but that deputy was at the hospital with an inmate for at least an hour and 15 minutes that night. The K block, which houses women, only had one deputy the whole shift, and J block's single deputy logged a late start at 7.36 p.m. F block's lone jailer only worked two hours of the shift, which matches the account our source gave us before the schedule was even released. Now, according to the report, there were only seven deputies working inside the jail that night, not including deputies working booking and the corporal in charge. Three of the seven only worked part of the shift. The sheriff's office says more deputies could face discipline. Back to you. Now, our source told us there must be two deputies on a cell block to do a routine headcount. But the night of the escape, there was only one deputy per wing. We requested a copy of Freeman's personnel file and the internal affairs investigation into the escape. We have not received them yet. We did ask to speak with Sheriff Davis today and we're told he wasn't available.